I live for this. I don't know how you all feel about packing, but I'm just like, I love it. Hey beautiful people, my name's Brittany and today I'm going to be sharing my 19 liter pack with you, everything that's in it for two and a half months of travel in Thailand and a little bit in California. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have a ton of packing videos on this channel and a number of packing videos with this bag and I try to kind of like mix it up every time so that I can share a new perspective on it or give you a different experience with it. And I was thinking, I actually think it's been a while since I've done the full pack, shown you pretty much everything that's in it, shown you everything that's in it, but then pretty much gone over the details of everything that's in it and then packed it back up. So I think I'm going to lean towards that in this video and also I'm just going to see how it unfolds. But basically my intention is to show you how I have everything that I need and more, I think this trip for sure, um, in this 19 liter Ton Bin Synapse bag, which I love. And you can check out some of my other specific videos on the Synapse 19 and why I love it so much. I've been living out of this bag full time for a number of years now. And before that I was living out of a 28 liter bag. So I'm really accustomed to minimalist living, not having much and traveling to a new place, or this time, it's like my fourth time here in Thailand. It's just always a fun opportunity to, to pack if you're a packing geek like me and really enjoy minimalist living, which for me helps bring me closer to the experiences that matter. So let's get into the pack. It's my packing cube with my clothes in it, my electronics bag making sure you guys can see that my shot my sarong my Merrell barefoot shoes running shoes oh they're not Merrells anymore those are Tesla this is my journal and like a a little folder that I store stuff in and that's everything in the main compartment. Move down to this lower compartment. I have a long sleeve sort of jacket. I like to keep that at hand because I get cold easily. I have a lacrosse ball, which I use for rolling out like muscles and knots. And then I have three pairs of socks. These are my warm socks. I have my acrobatic socks which have grips on the bottom and then just my regular socks that I wear with these shoes. And the reason I brought these is because I want to do hiking here. Going on to this right side compartment, this is kind of like my toiletry kit and writing implements. A spoon. I travel a plastic knife because can't get through security with anything else and chopsticks menstrual cup I am pregnant so I don't need it right now but I like having it flossers and q-tips my toothpaste which I make and then this time this is new for me I'm traveling with the shea butter and this really sweet essential oil blend that a friend made for me because I'm doing like belly massage every day, which is really nice. That's everything in there. I love how this pack has the holders for things like my pens and my utensils. On the left hand side, I've got a reusable stuff sack bag, my athletic tape that I use to like tape my wrists or something like that in acrobatics if I get sore. My glasses for driving at night. These are my soap nuts, which um, Yorganics makes. They're amazing. I have a link to them on my website. That's what I use as like a natural soap to wash my clothes with. 
our sewing kit, condoms, and a lock. It's that whole pouch. This small front pouch has chapstick. Again, from Yorganics, I really love this bomb. My earrings, hair elastics, these nausea wristbands. I've been using some mostly in the first few months of my pregnancy. I haven't been as nauseous lately, but just in case, and a nail clipper. And the last compartment is technically the water bottle pouch. And sometimes I do put my water bottle in there, but um, this is what I'm putting in there right now, my eye mask. My wallet, which also fits my passport, which is why I love that size. My phone, I have the iPhone 8 Plus. My headphones. And my keys, these are these are my keys for the states, but you know, when I go back there, I'll need them. So that is my entire bag. I also traveled with a couple of other items I'm gonna show you on the outside of my bag. I did not travel with these pants. My plan was to get a pair of tie pants when I was here, and I did um, pack this shirt. So I was, when I traveled, wearing more clothing than like I was wearing some of the clothing in, clothing in my packing cube, so I had a little more space in my bag. Um, and then I also had these items. So I was carrying my water bottle and I opt to do that because I'm just drinking water the whole time while I travel. This, which I've had for a number of years, but really only used it for certain events that I was running. And I've, I'm finding that traveling in airports with it is amazing. So it's a side pouch, like a fanny pack, but a side pouch. And I can put my phone, my wallet, my passport in it, and my utensils. And then it's like everything's right there at hand. And I also use this a lot in Thailand. I'm going to use it a lot this year instead of bringing out my backpack. Although for the most part, I always have my backpack with me. I just feel like it's my whole life in there and I just love to have it with me. I always have what I need. I traveled wearing these and I brought a jacket. I don't normally bring a jacket like this to Thailand because I live in Chiang Mai for two months when I'm here and it's like 90 degrees right now. And at night it gets into like the 70s or 60s. However, it was chilly when I left Austin and more so I'm gonna be in California for 10 days after this and I think it's gonna be quite chilly. So I pretty much just wore this on the whole flight or like used it as a pillow, etc. That's my pack. I think the main thing I wanna do is open up my packing cube and show you the clothing I have because I know a lot of people are curious about that and maybe I'll also just show you some of the electronics that I have. I'll start with the electronics, they're right here. So this is just part of my charger. These two are accessories to adapt like this technology to a USB. My screen cleaner. This is a two to one headphone splitter so Connor and I can watch movies together on the flight. My headphones. So the reason I have two pairs of headphones is because these are Bluetooth and um, I use them when I'm running specifically because they stay on my ears, but I don't like to have the Bluetooth technology going all the time, especially like on flights. I'm not even sure how that would work. I haven't played around with that yet. Um, a microphone, which I'm using to record my podcast, which I recommend checking out if you haven't yet. Again, another little adapter I need for my iPhone. This thing is amazing. It, it's a charger and an external charger and it will charge my iPhone for probably like two full cycles. Love it. Another thing, this like, this is really awesome. If you have a computer like this and are looking for like multiple USB ports, an SD card reader, etc. The lightning cable, I think it's called a lightning cable. This is good, and just my wall. 
Okay, let's talk about the clothes that are in this packing cube. And I want to preface this by saying that for me, I feel like I have more items than I need in here. I could probably have not brought three of these tops. I mean, this is pretty much all the clothing I own. Like I just have a couple of items left in Winnie in my RV back in Austin right now. Um, but yeah, I have a couple of extra tops for sure and bottoms I could definitely take away one pair of shorts. And the reason is, <laughs> I, I don't know, this is like something that I tend to do. And I think part of it is that I'm not quite sure, specifically right now being pregnant, what I'm going to want. And I can get clothes here in Thailand. Like I love Thai pants and I'm sure I could find shirts. And I just, yeah, I'm kind of like feeling out all that. So the other thing is I might just leave or donate or give away to a friend a couple of these items while I'm here. But anyway, this is what I'm packing. So I have tops on one side and bottoms on the other. These are all my tops. I have a short sleeve shirt that's like really loose and I sleep in it. And it's just like lounge around the house. And then I have a short sleeve like crop top. This one I probably didn't need to bring. It's just cute and I love it. But um, with like my belly starting to get bigger, I'm not sure how much part of my wardrobe it's gonna be right now. I have three identical tops that look like this, three identical tank tops. This is definitely the excessive part. I think I could have two or one, but two because I tend to wear them every day. And I was just excited before I left to buy all three of these colors. So here we go, two of those. This one, I have this sort of crop top that a friend of mine gave me from her pregnancy. And I'm just finding that it feels nice to be able to throw on over these, like when I'm doing acrobatics. And then this is also different for me. I have two, well, like I tend to wear stuff like this regardless of pregnancy. So this is like a crop top and I would normally just do acrobatics right in this. However, since my breasts have like doubled in size since getting pregnant, this feels like I'm just gonna fall out of it while doing acro. So I, I wouldn't wear that to the park without something over it. Um, and so I actually got a bra which is crazy, but it's super comfy. Oh, it's actually it's actually really comfy. Comfy. It's kind of like a crop top. I could totally wear it on its own. It's like a bralette. And um, I'm wearing this when I'm doing that sort of activity, especially like out in the world. So again, that's just like an adaptation I, I've made since becoming pregnant. You may have seen some of my other videos where I share about like not wearing a bra, not wearing underwear. I just, I don't like to, but, um, it's definitely more comfortable to have this while I'm exercising than to not have it now that my breasts are like larger. Okay, to the bottoms. This is also like a huge item I wouldn't normally bring. However, um, this is a dress that my sister gave me. It was hers and it's really comfy and I'm just finding it feels really nice to throw on. It's a long dress has two slits up the sides. And I feel like, again, being pregnant and like having my body change and just wanting to feel comfier and just navigating what I feel comfortable wearing right now is feeling helpful to have. So this on its own is just like a huge item in my pack right now. Then I have these two pairs of shorts that I pretty much I live in. They look like this. They're made by a really cool acrobat in Australia. I'll link her down below. So they look like that. I probably only need one pair. And I have a pair of leggings. I love the Gymshark leggings. They're the only ones that stay up while I do acrobatics and like handstands and other exercises. So I would definitely bring this. Could probably not have brought this, not have brought a pair of these. I have a bathing suit. And then the other items I have in here are tights, which I may or may not end up using much of, but generally I like to wear tights underneath my acro shorts. Oh, the last item I wanted to mention is my tripod. It's right over there as I'm recording this video. So I can't show you it, um, but it's, it gets really small and it goes in the bottom of my bag down with my shoes. 
and my sarong. My sarong, by the way, doubles as a towel, can lay on it at the park, um, can, it can warm me on flights, and just in general, can be a little blanket, really awesome. Yeah, that is literally everything in my pack. It feels excessive, and I think in a way, that is good to be reflecting on and telling you in this video because even packing like oh, pretty much twice as many clothes as I feel like I need, everything else feels pretty good. This is all like tried and true. Um, even packing twice as much as I feel like I need, it still fits in my 19 liter bag and my clothes still fit in my packing cube and that's kind of like my test. So yeah, this is everything I have. I have links to a lot of this stuff in on my website on the recommended products page and feel free to post if you have questions about any specific items down below. So I'm just going to pack it all back up. I live for this. I don't know how you all feel about packing, but I'm just like...